welcome back. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Obviously back at the bus. Um, but yeah, got got quite a little bit going on. So I did run my wires. So this is my uh, 12 volt 8 gauge going to the back. So it's coming down to the battery. Just absolute mess right now because I just got this in the mail today. Got a cut off switch. Um, yep. Little cloudy, shitty day today, but we're still getting some good power. What do we got? It was getting like 15 amps going in this morning. Well, an hour ago, I've only been here for an hour. But yeah. Come on. Jesus, what's the amperage going in 3 amp 2.6 amp but anyway so let's show you what you got going on so material wise I can't do anything for a bit but I can piss around with all the other stuff so here's the uh, two wires coming down to my fuse fuse block um yeah so you'll see all the wires coming off of it. So let me tell you what I got going on. So I went and picked up this little uh, dimmer switch. And you can't really tell, but a light. So let me show you what we got going on. One. Yes. And it also uh, actually dims. Come on. Yes. So let's get her all the way up. There we go. Nice. <laughs> so I'm still going to do the same over there. And you'll see how I put it um, under the lip. Because there'll be like a shelf that comes off of this one. So that's why that had to be done like that. And, okay, so, that's wired in. What I also got is 12-volt plugs from a car. Now, this one here, yeah, this has got the thicker wire on it. This one here is going to be drilled and put right here for my 12-volt compressor cooler. Um, so, what I did was... This is off of a Dodge Journey, the back seat from the center console. Um, went and got the inverter. This actually fried. Um, the inverter is actually out of a Dodge Caravan because the Dodge Journey, um, under the, the inverter is under the seat. And under the seat up here in Canada, you might as well call it rust <laughs> so on a Dodge Grand Caravan that sits above the driver's side rear wheel wheel so you just got to take off the panel and it's right there um, so I had that all wired in the 110 volt plug right I was gonna put that right here also and maybe another one somewhere else but using automotive shit is just like you know 150 watt inverter what else do you need right so you don't have to run a big inverter like i have a 2000 watt inverter i will be connecting and wiring but i'll be able to shut the power down and just run off a 12 volt you know little little stuff um Right now I'm just charging my tablet. But yeah, so. <clears throat> we're doing everything on the cheap and reusing a lot of stuff. Oh, and I've also got. So. What do we got here? There's another one around somewhere. Okay, that's to that. Oh, there it is. So I've got another outlet here. And when I build the channel to go down to cover the wiring 
I'll have another outlet and stuff put in there so and that's as far as I've gotten so far but yeah it's coming along it's like minus five degrees out minus 12 with the wind chill but yeah she's coming along getting all the little stuff done you know um, well everything I can I still have some insulating to do um, all kinds of stuff but as for building materials with the price and bills and everything so that's gonna have to wait but anyway a lot more can still get done so I'm doing that um, <coughs> yep. it's coming along <laughs> looks good though I think so but yeah so I did duct connect all the duct work so I've got an outlet here got the T it comes under the wheel well cuts across comes to here I still have to sand this down and paint it um, now I did actually uh, this ain't bolted down so if I wanted to I could put that back but I don't think I'm going to I just cut it out so that fits right over um, I get enough hot air off of that plus it being metal absorbs the heat radiates it out so works a lot better than just a vent um, and plus I'll be cutting it right about there I just blocked the end with a piece of wood but I ended up cutting it I'll end up cutting it right about there to match with the window because there'll be a wall going here for the bathroom and with that end butting up against the wall I'll be able to kind of slot it through not slot it but like uh, put a vent into the bathroom so the bathrooms heated so and I still have to put the stove in there but have to buy a butcher block or countertop for that but yeah we had quite the ice storm last night, so it was a pain in the butt trying to get in the bus because the locks froze. <laughs> so it probably took me about 15 minutes to get into the bus. It was crazy. I was getting kind of, kind of upset. <laughs> so, yeah, it's coming along. I like it. Alrighty, guys. Cheers. We'll keep you updated what's going on. <laughs> Have a great one.